What's up guys and welcome it to my season 8 locker tour now yes as you guys can see already we have the iconic skin here and you know I've gotten so many new skins since you know the start of season 8 and especially since the last time I did a locker tour which was over two months ago and you know that was probably uh, just probably a quarter ways through season 7 I last did one of these so I thought it's time to do one of, one of these again and I know you guys love them seeing what I've got in my locker and stuff seeing what back blings, what skins what emotes and all that and yeah yeah, lads, I have a lot of skins, a lot of emotes, mostly because I want to try and collect as many as I can so I can really show you guys um, as much combos and stuff in my videos. So that's why I really go out there and buy skins. And yeah, dude, I'm really, really excited to do this. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you smash the like button as well, subscribe to the channel, and also go ahead and chuck on that notification bell to stay up to date with all of my videos coming in the future of the channel. Of course, lads, be sure to use supporter creator code COSMOSFTW inside of the item shop if you haven't already i'd appreciate it if you guys could help me out and support me by doing that but that way longer let's go ahead and begin this video so i'm going to start off here with the skins i actually have like a fair few skins favorited and obviously they're favorited for a reason because they're, they're basically my favorite skins in the game so we're going to start with the skins we'll probably have a look at the back blings go to the um of course the pickaxes have a look at the gliders then have a look at the emotes and stuff so we're going to start here with the um skins we have the Rose Team Leader. I love the Rose Team Leader so much. All these favorited skins are what I really use most of the time. All the other skins I rarely use, I would say. Um, the Elite Agent, ever since I got this new style as well, I've just been using it a lot more whenever I do play the game. And, of course, we have the Iconic skin, which I am so excited to get, man. I really do like this skin. I missed out again the Galaxy skin. I really, really wanted the Galaxy skin, but I do have the Iconic skin here now, and I think this is a really, really nice looking skin, and I'm hoping that they bring out, like, a pickaxe and stuff and extra stuff for it um, to owners of the Iconic skin, just like they did with the Galaxy, because the Galaxy didn't originally have the Galaxy pickaxe, I don't believe. I believe they put, brought that in, and yeah, I think this is a really cool skin. The Lucky Ride, I honestly don't even know why that's favorite. I'm not a big fan of that skin at all. Um, uh, the Rap Scallion, you know, that is another great skin. The Red Line is obviously a Battle Pass skin. Definitely one of my favorite Battle Pass skins. If you guys watch my videos, this skin does appear quite often, as I really do like it. Same with the Sparkle Specialist. I've been using this ever since it first released in Season 2. Ever since I really unlocked this, I've been consistently using this a lot inside of games. The Scarlet Defender, another really clean looking skin here. I think, you know, we have our new Starter Pack skin, which if you guys do want to check out... Um, the combos I did with that, feel free to do that. But we have our new starter pack skin, which is right here. I think this one and this one, they're pretty similar. Like, if you look at them, they're, they're pretty similar skins. I do like both of those skins. And you know what? I actually should go ahead and add this to my favorites because I think that this is a really good skin as well. But, um, yeah, where were we at? We were at um, the Laguna skin. I didn't even know. Is it Laguna? Laguna? I don't even know. Um, the Jungle Scout, an amazing skin there. I absolutely love the Jungle Scout. I only recently bought that. Um, the Waypoint, I literally absolutely love this skin. It comes with a really nice reactive back bling. For 1,200 V-Bucks, it comes with a different style. It comes with a back bling. It's definitely one of the best value skins out there. The Volley Girl, this is a great skin. I I think it's it's actually becoming pretty, pretty rare. I think it's going to be exclusive to the Australian Open Tennis. So we'll see if this does appear in the item shop again later. But at the moment, it's starting to become pretty rare. The Munitions Expert, another really, really cool looking skin. It actually first released in Season 1. I didn't buy it in Season 1. I bought it in probably like Season 5. I've had it for a fair while, but I haven't had it since it did first release. Um, the Jump Shot, though, this is probably my rarest skin. Um, actually, it's probably not. I'll show you guys my rare skin later on, but this is one of my rare skins. It's been almost a whole year since we last saw this guy, and still to this day, this is my favorite male skin. This and the Iconic have to be my two favorite male skins in the game. I think that this one looks so clean, and it's, it's a male skin that I actually use in-game, and I rarely use any other ones, but this one looks really nice. The Dark Bomber is probably my favorite skin in the game. If if I'm, you know, not getting gameplay for another video and I'm just playing casually or whatever, um, I'll probably go ahead and use the Dark Bomber most of the time. As it, I think it just looks amazing. There's so many good combos with it as well. Um, we have the Bandolette, which obviously only recently came out. Another amazing one. We've already talked about Scarlet Defender and the Whistle Warrior. Really clean looking skin there. Now, I'm really just going to skim through the rest of these skins. We have the Ark. Um, you know, all these skins right here, I'm not really the biggest fan of. The Black Knight, obviously, from Season 2. Um, that's a, one of my rarest skins, I guess. I don't have the rarest locker. Like, I don't have all these OG-looking skins, but... I do have a fair few skins and stuff, but... Most of them are just stuff that I bought for combos. Um, the Habit skin, of course, that was the first Twitch Prime pack. That's a really nice-looking skin. Also, the Hime. 
Uh, this could have been one of my favorite skins. I think it's a great looking skin, once again, just because of the styles. I really do like the styles. Um, that's what really makes the skin great for me. The Lux, of course. I really like the Lux. Um, a lot of you guys in my comment section and stuff say you really hate the Lux. I don't think it's really that bad. I think, you know, it's, it's decent. It's not the worst skin. It's not the best skin. Um, the Ravage. Um, you know, I've got the Ravage and the Raven, both great skins. The Raptor is something that has been out. I think this was like one of the first Legendary skins released, but um, I only just bought it just a little while ago because I wanted the back bling for it mostly because it goes really well with the Munitions Expert and stuff, and I absolutely, absolutely love that back bling so much. Most of these skins are just, you know, uh, Battle Pass skins, random skins that I don't even know why I bought. The Wukong, no idea why I bought that, if I'm going to be honest. And also, if you guys actually want to tell me in the comment section below, um... What ranking videos do you guys want to see next on the channel? If you guys want to comment that below, uh, be sure to do that. I'll be interested to see what you guys have to say. Possibly the worst skin right there with the giddy up. And man, I have way too many skins. I bought this skin just as a meme because, you know, that's just a meme skin there, really. Um, and yeah, I have so many skins. But something that I do want to talk about is actually the Skull Trooper, which I do have the Purple Skull Trooper. I did have the original Scully, and yeah, I'm actually really lucky because there's not really any other OG skins that released that got like an OG variant, so I guess I'm happy, happy to have that. Um, yeah, dude, I don't even know how many skins. We must have like way over 100 skins in here. We have a lot of skins, man. Um, of course, we have all these skins. The Soccer Skin, which I've had ever since the Soccer Skin did first release. Um, Royal Knight, another really good looking skin there. And then all of these skins down here, I really like using these. Um, I just love buying uncommon skins and rare skins. They're, I guess, my favorite skins to buy. The Sergeant Green Clover, I just bought that for the combos. I didn't have that OG either. Now, we have all my favorite back blings here. So, we have the Black Shield. Oh, and we're looking at all these combos on this amazing skin as well, the Dark Bomber. Um, we have the Black Shield. These all right here, my favorite, my favorite back blings. And you see most of them go well with the Dark Bomber because, you know, I just love using... Uh, all these back blings of the Dark Bomber. Black Shield looks amazing. Fallen Wings probably looks best on the Dark Bomber, in my opinion, as well. The Iron Cage looks good, especially on the Dark Bomber. All these, like, are, are, are amazing combos for the Dark Bomber. Um, dude, the Ominous Orb looks amazing on the Dark Bomber. Scaly. I just love all these skins on... Uh, all these back blings on just oh, so many skins, man. I think this looks really clean as well. Man, I just love... Dude, literally every single one of these. All one of my favorite. Uh, this one doesn't really go well with it. This one does go well with it if I use the purple um, ghost portal. It all goes well with the Dark Bomber, all these ones, because I use the Dark Bomber so much. But these are all my favorite back blings there. Has a backup blend, of course. And all the back blings, which I'll just skim through for you guys now. Really just stuff that I've had for 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 such a long time. There's the Raptor Satchel that I was talking about. Um, and stuff that I've just collected with all the skins that I bought. But I'm not really going to spend too much time with them. As you know, if you guys looked at my skins, you probably know what back blings I have. Um, so yeah, we do have a lot of back blings, and it, yeah, I, I love my back blings, man. They're probably like my favorite cosmetic item to like use in the game and stuff. It's really, really amazing. Now let's go to the pickaxes. Um, I actually have a fair few favorite pickaxes as well. The controller, this was the PS4, um, PS4 exclusive pack one. It looks pretty cool. I just like the black and blue. I think it looks really clean there. The flawless, possibly one of the best pickaxes we've ever seen in the game. Definitely one of my personal favorites. Of course, it was a part of this battle pass. I think you unlock it. You, got, you just gotta, I think, outlive opponents with the Lux, uh, with the Lux, um, unlocked. I think that's it. The Permafrost as well, that was what, that was a couple of seasons ago now. A really, really good pickaxe there, it looks amazing. The Pot of Gold, only just bought that one that did re-release as well. But the Trust Number 2, that is another one of my favorite pickaxes. So clean looking from Season 3, of course. The Excalibur looks amazing as well. The Instigator, if I'm using a red skin, most of the time I'm going to use the Instigator with it as it just combos really well. The Icebreaker, absolutely fire. The Fresh Cut, amazing. Clean Cut, amazing. Studded Axe, I use that a lot. Studded Axe, Reaper, and Instigator, I guess the ones that I use the most. And I use these two a fair bit as well. ACDC, um, that's another one of my Season 2 ones I have. I've had the Rainbow Smash really ever since it first released, which was probably back in like Season 2. It was such a long time ago, but... Um, but same with this, uh, Pink Flamingo, this was like the first of a pickaxe I bought in the game, which was just such a long time ago. Uh, we have a ton, and I mean a ton of pickaxes here. I don't know why I've got this many pickaxes, um, but you know, they're all pretty good. I don't buy a pickaxe if it's bad, so the only bad pickaxes I probably have are ones that are from the battle pass like this one. Um, but yeah, okay, now emotes. I absolutely love the lazy shuffle. I rarely buy emotes 
This is one of the ones I did buy. Most of my emotes are from, um, you know, the battle pass and stuff. But the break-in emote, absolutely fire emote. I love the break-in. That was probably the first one that I did ever buy, if not one of the first ones. The floss, of course, that's a battle pass skin. These are all my favorites. I'm going to have favorite here. The hype, really like the hype. Keep it mellow. I think this is really cool. As you got like different, it does different things every time you activate it, which is nice. I rate that. Yeah, so uh, the laugh it up. I just love laughing on TTVs with this skin, man. Best feeling. Um, Lazy Shuffle. I only recently bought this. This is really cool. I just think it's, I just love it. Oh, and Justin, of course, the biggest meme of all time. Gotta love him. Take the L, T pose, default dance. Best emotes, lads. Right, Boogie Down, of course, everyone knows that one. Breakdown, Flamenco, Free Flow. Most of these, as I said, guys, are literally... Um, was it? Yeah, the dab was Battle Pass, wasn't it? Um, most of these are just Battle Pass. I rarely buy emos. Really, the only ones that I bought are like, you know, Laugh It Up. A couple of these um, uncommon ones here as well. But that's really about it. I don't really buy emos. What do you guys in the comment section, what do you guys buy the most? Like emotes, um, skins, you know, whatever, pickaxes... Uh, now, lads, last up, we have my gliders. Don't know why I bought this. This was 2,000 V-Bucks. That's just insane nowadays, man. 2,000 V-Bucks for that glider, and I never use it. The only glider I really use, um, once again, I love using this one, but the only ones I really use are, um, you know, I use the Mako most of the time. That's really the only glider I will use. If not, I'll be using an umbrella, because I think the umbrellas are definitely... You know the way to go they're the best ones to get and i got i think i got one for every season here which isn't too hard to get the, probably the webrella is probably my favorite if not the webrella probably the paper parasol i think they're like my favorite um gliders there or favorite umbrellas whatever you want to call it but yeah once again don't really buy too many of these at all but yeah ladies and gentlemen that is right there going to be my whole entire locker everything else is of course like just battle pass stuff here so um, and everything here, of course, you gotta love the gemstone, that is the best, that is the best, um, camo in the game, but lads, that's gonna end the video, hope you guys did enjoy, if you did, make sure you smash the like button as well, subscribe to the channel, and also, chuck on the notification bell to stay up to date with all my videos coming in the future of the channel, and guys, as you can see on screen right now, make sure to use supporter creator code COSMOSFTW in the item shop, it really would help me out, lads, and anyway, thank you for watching today's video, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace out.